Hey everybody, welcome back to About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So we are back with my Hit Rewind playlist, which is just my fancy way of saying first time watch. And today we're gonna to be talking about 2012's Dread. <laughs> It is rated R. It is a sci-fi action. It's only an hour and 35 minutes along. It is directed by Pete Travis. You can currently stream it on Hulu and Prime. It did come out in 2012. It is based off of a comic book, Judge Dread. Now this is a, I don't know, like a reboot or remake of 1995's Judge Dread, which stars Sylvester Stallone. Straight off the bat, wow, 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 you guys. This movie is freaking amazing i cannot believe i have been sleeping on dread this is a pure action movie so if you are an action fanatic you're going to love 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 this movie so it's a very simple premise we're following uh judge dread so he's the judge the jury the executioner it's basically like a futuristic cop i don't even know what time period we're in to be honest with you there's bullets flying everywhere the, if you are not like this is a hard rated r you guys okay i mean we don't get like sex or anything like this wait do we no i don't think we get nudity either wait no we do get a little bit a little bit of sex like like a vision i guess you can say there's so many murders happening like people being thrown off fucking buildings and like splat there's no like bullshitting around to be honest with you i mean again I just cannot believe I'm like kicking myself that I have not seen this movie up until now also one of the things that the movie has well the movie does not have which honestly benefits it and like takes it to a whole other level is that there's no subplots okay there's no romance which I absolutely love because sometimes it's like why why must you force a romance like why can't there ever just be a man and a woman in a movie together without you forcing a romance between them like why can't it just be like we're going to survive without gazing into each other's eyes and then we're like oh my god i love you like no we don't need that we don't need that and there's no like comical like side character like just like bullshitting around or whatever like that yes 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 you guys i am a fan of those things in movies i'm not going to lie but we don't need them as much as we get them in the movies you know what i mean we are in mega city one it's like a metropolis type of deal we're like in a lockdown in one big building uh mama who again is played by uh lena henley who you may know from game of thrones she's like a whole extra type of crazy ass villain here and i love that you know she wasn't like this really put together fancy beautiful looking i really really liked her as this a villain and she's not just one that just like bosses people around it's like you do this you do this you do that like she can get her hands dirty now i understand that she is a rookie and she may not be the best of the best but she does have some psychic abilities i like the way that they use it within the movie like it doesn't fully like i guess like focus or depend on her psychic ability and i didn't think it did but she did do some really crazy kind of like mind controlling situations at one point which i thought was really cool um there were times where it kind of when she got kidnapped or she got taken whatever i was like are you gonna use your like mind control with some of these people but i don't know maybe she can't get to that extent of being able to handle like a big crowd like that maybe it's just like a one-on-one -on -one type of situation there literally like your first case you get like ambushed and you're trying to trying to make it out of this building and get help and you know survive so there's this new drug on the market called slow-mo and everything just kind of goes in slow motion the brain feel as if time is passing at one percent its normal speed imagine when they like freaking throw you off of a damn building that's gonna seem like a very 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 long time to go and flat down you go you do slow motion a lot of things here and there but i like the way that they use their slow motion i thought it was really awesome i don't know if you've seen dread what did you guys think about it let me know down below did you like it did you, like it? Did you hate it was it just not for you i normally don't rate my first time watches i don't think i do I may have but i'm gonna go ahead and rate this but before i do give you my score which i'm pretty sure you already know go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new with that said i mean I, i've been talking about nothing good about the movie i really have no negative things about the movie i'm like trying to think about one negativity and i just i don't know the only negative thing would be on my end that i saw it on a phone don't let the first time you watch this movie on be on a phone 
phone like at least a tablet <laughs> a little bit bigger but no like if you can watch it oh, i wish i had seen this movie in theaters i wish i'm gonna say the trailer wasn't good i really really am you guys wait did i give you guys the score i don't think i did i'm gonna give me dread a large popcorn you guys okay because this movie was so cool okay and <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with the rest of it. Let me know down below. Again, what did you guys think about this movie? Should I see 1995's Judge Dredd, the one with uh, Sylvester Stallone? I haven't seen it. I honestly, I didn't even really know about that movie. I do want to do, at some point, the what kind of like the watch along deal unless you guys prefer them still like this without kind of like the reaction commentary deals let me know down below because if you guys are not really into that then i won't look into it but i kind of do want to do it maybe just one video just to kind of see how it is but if you guys are not really into that let me know down below as well i would love your feedback because of course you're the ones that are watching all right guys until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye <laughs>